cooking. This woman just cooks until you start looking deeper and deeper. And what is this? Hey guys, it's your girl Courtney. Welcome back to my channel. When it comes to TikTok, there's different levels of cooking style. There's the cooking that's like, oh my god, give me a plate. I want some right now. And then there's the plate. Oh, 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 oh. Exactly is microwave chicken pizza. He poured an entire bottle of ketchup into a raw piece of chicken and then proceeds to add cheese and microwaves it for some time that doesn't seem long. He flips it over and it still looks uncooked. What is it? What is it? What sounds do chickens make? The chicken is still making noise. It's very much alive. And I also can't continue this video without showing y'all the monstrosity that I just saw. Oh, Grinch and Jello. What is that? What is that? What I can see is corn, peppers, SpaghettiOs. What are we doing? It's been a while, so I'm coming back at y'all with my number one most requested Christmas recipe. Enjoy. Who's enjoying? Who cooked this? And why is it the number one most requested? Who has requested this? I'm grateful that I'm not in that family. But y'all, this is just a sneak peek of the type of cooking that is present on TikTok. I don't get it. I'm always trying to figure out whether or not this is satire or if it's real life because you know what? I'm not in everyone's family. I don't know what y'all be eating. Like I said, there's a section of chefs on TikTok that just make food that is absolutely Foul. So I found this creator called Mind Jane Brain and honestly she just cooks on TikTok. So when you go through her page, it's normal. You wouldn't even think anything. This woman just cooks until you start looking deeper and deeper and what is this? So as you can see, the meat has a face. Why does it have a face? I don't know. But she proceeds to add eggs into every hole that is present on this meat. And then she proceeds lace chips. Yeah, you heard Ooh. it. Go ahead and put those all the way around the beef. Why are we? Oh, I don't know. Sorry, I'm already getting irritated. <laughs> Why are we adding chips to meat and egg? How does that combination even make sense in anyone's head? You hear the person in the background say, ooh. You heard it. What are we ooing? What are we creating right now? I'm never making burgers another way. We're making burgers? And then she adds creamer and she also adds butter. What would mashed potatoes be without butter, honestly? Who decided we were making mashed potatoes? I thought we were making burgers. I thought we were making burgers. What happened? She's leaving me confused. I never know what to expect next. And we're just gonna place it gently around our beef. I don't know why these eyes are all red, but uh... <laughs> and we're just gonna go in with a little more season. All right, let's see if they're turning into mashed potatoes. That's not how it works. You don't- What do you mean, let's see if it's turning into mashed potatoes? You cannot process beyond processed chips. You're trying to make it back to mashed potatoes. You've missed a couple steps. That's like trying to make french fries back into a potato. It don't work like that. Okay. So we're just gonna put the lid on this for a while. Let it steam up. This has been in here quite a while. Wow. Oh. Look at that. Now let's take a look. And if this is ready to be flipped, we're just gonna go for it. Listen to that. Oh yeah, it's ready. All right, we're going for it. <laughs> These actually look like mashed potatoes and you can't tell me they don't. We're just gonna guide our little face right out of- What am I looking at right now? Ah! It does not even look remotely good. What are we doing right now? Let's see how good this turned out. Oh yeah, now that is a burger. You're a liar! This is just disgusting. She's smiling as if she's tasting the most delicious thing in the world. You know you're lying. Tell us! Be honest! Look at what is in front of you. This is a different level of acting. You can't just be actually making poison, tasting it and smiling. That's something else. If you can make a meal like this, you can't possibly have peace at home. You can't. My heart rate is elevated from just watching this, so I can just imagine having to consume it. I need something calming. I need love. I could even use a pie right now. And that's why I love playing Love and Pies, the video game. Thank you so much, Love and Pies, for sponsoring this portion of the video. Love and Pies is honestly the coziest mobile game to play after a long day of working or watching people cook on TikTok. My favorite kind of games are the ones that make me feel good and relaxed. Imagine you're snuggled up. Maybe you have a warm and comforting drink. A delicious meal or snack. Just straight cozy. Now imagine a game giving you that same feeling. Sign me up! 
Love and Pies follows the storyline of a single mother, Amelia, who is taking over her mom's cafe. My favorite part of Love and Pies is honestly getting to design my cafe. I get to customize it exactly how I want it. And also watching the cafe turn into a thriving business is just so rewarding, okay? Also, I forgot to mention the cafe did not start off in the best shape. It was actually burnt down. We're trying to rebuild it and make it into something wonderful. And I'm sorry, but my cafe is looking really, really pretty. And I really have a business. Like I'm here merging and adding ingredients together and serving it to my customers. She's a business owner. It's so easy to pick up and play. I love playing it when I'm in bed or if I'm on the couch and just need a break from stressful tasks like editing or just a long day. And can we talk about the visuals? I literally have no other word to describe it, but cute. In general, cute things just make me feel calm, okay? And every time I open up Love and Pies, I feel exactly that. And they also have so many cute events and rewards. Right now, they're currently having a super cute festive Christmas event that's happening just during this time of the year. Y'all definitely need to check it out. It's completely free to download on iOS and Android. I'm so excited to hear what you guys think of the game. And if y'all do download the game and play it, please let me know in the comments because I'm currently obsessed. Anyway, thank you so much, Love and Pies, for sponsoring this portion of the video. Jane Brain, she's just a very, very odd character. She also does this thing where she will add random things into her videos just so you will go and say the egg into the middle of a hot pan and we're going to add two sticks of butter they're nice and hot so you just want to move them around we're going to add our water caramel just gonna melt these down. What is this process that I'm watching? This is an egg that still has a shell on it. It is a fresh egg that she just added into a pan that has butter and candy in it. Why is the egg there? Sorry, I get a little too rowdy, but why is the egg there? Look at that. The caramel is starting to bubble. Now is where we gotta go fast. It's gonna hatch first, the kernels or the egg? <laughs> Didn't know that wasn't fun. <laughs> But what is the egg doing here? Even looking at this picture, the egg is confused. They said, what is my business here? Let's put this on. Maybe let's just give it a little rock. They're really coming quick now. Just gotta keep it moving. One last thing to do, we have to take out our little burnt egg. Look at all this popcorn. What? Oh my God. What was the purpose of the egg? What was the purpose of the egg? That's Jane Brain for you. It's the fact that everyone in the comments is asking, what was the egg for? Cancel her for not explaining the egg. And this woman is not responding to any of those comments. She just likes to cause frustration and anger. That's it. Start with our eggs, ground beef, medium queso, freshly chopped onions, salt into the water, and then a little into the bag. Some milk. So much about that video just confused me. Why are we putting eggs, meat, and ingredients in general into a bag of Doritos? And then she had the audacity to say, let's just salt the water. Something tells me that nothing is gonna be put into that water. The milk, hot and spicy here. It'll go perfectly with the cool ranch. Cheese slices. And you wanna mix it all together. This is the quickest way to make your beef dinner. The water is boiling. We're just gonna bring this up and down. Why did we salt the water, bro? This is the technique to make it cook really fast. It's been about 20 minutes and I can feel it. It just feels done. It's so heavy. Ready? Oh yeah. Here it comes. Here it comes. It's heavy. It's a lot of beef in there. Looks heavy. <laughs> there we go. This looks incredible. All right, let's get a bite of this. Wow. This is the look she gives when she tries to convince people that her food is good. She's trying to put a spell on me with those blue eyes. How did it even get cooked? Was sitting it in hot water enough to cook the meat? Or is she like lying to us? Everything about this feels unsafe. And also I noticed she has a habit of creating foods out of things that are already made. When she added the chips in here, it's already made. And in this video, you're just adding candy. Maybe Jane, you're not a chef. Maybe you don't actually know what you're doing. Take our perfect cake, make it 10 times better. Vanilla icing, mega rice crispy square. Peel that right out. Double stuffed Oreos. Tetris with circles. <laughs> you wanna make sure every- What did she even say? The person in the background just always adds random commentary. What did she say? Tetris with circles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think she said it's like Tetris with circles. I know Jane is just like, girl, if you don't continue recording. Tetris with circles. <laughs> you wanna make sure every circle, some little teasers right in the bottom of the circle. Jelly beans. And add those to our spear. Mini m and m Put a dot of icing on each. 10 pounds of icing layer. And the last one here. We got one more, but we're not done yet. Unravel our fruit by the foot. This has to be longer than a foot. 
Has anyone ever measured these right on the ends? Connect it to the other side here, all the way across. Let's get the last one on so we can open this guy up. What is this woman doing? What is this woman? <laughs> hey, who are you? I'm diabetes. <laughs> I've entered the chat. Give it a nice chop down the middle. Wow. This is a whole edible pinata. Cheers. This is the best thing I've ever had. You know you're lying! You know you're lying! This was the end result. This is what I waited 58 seconds to see. You just stack candies together. And once again, the girl in the background gets no response. <laughs> This is a whole edible pinata. That was cute, but Jane, I don't think she like you because she don't ever respond to anything you say. <laughs> if I was there cooking with you, I would have responded to you, girl. This is even unsanitary. Look at her using canned goods to hold it up. <sighs> this is just nasty. I'm making this cake for everyone's birthday. And that's how you lose an invite. We're going to start by cracking two eggs into our m and mm. Just gonna get right in here and mix these guys up. Where could we be going with this? Where could we be? You just cracked. I want this woman arrested. I want this woman arrested. Please! Jane, if that's even your real name. Because I feel like if I was her, I wouldn't go by my real name. I wouldn't want anyone to know my actual identity. And I would not want to be tied to this account. You cracked an egg into a bowl of m and Where are we going with this one? Crack open this box of cake mix. Dump that right in there. And get this, we're not even making cake. We're gonna take our mixture and we're just gonna spoon it in. Oh my goodness, it's so thick. Shimmy this around. I'm not hearing the camera woman. Is she silent or was she silenced? I feel like Jane told her to shut up this. <laughs> this looks so good already, but we are gonna bake it. 350 for 20 minutes. Let's see how it goes. See you soon. All right, to make up for there being no funfetti cake mix, we're gonna take this Betty Crocker white icing. We're gonna take this out. Now this is barbaric. Are you telling me you didn't have a spoon? Let's get right in there. My hands are clean. Come on. If you learn one thing from me on this channel, let it be this. My dad told me this from young. Only eat at your own house because you don't know how people prepare stuff. This woman could be making you a cake and she just scooped in there. She just scooped her hand in there and removed the icing and served it to you. If this was just a random girl at my school that invited me over and she was always like just cooking and always offering me food, I would be so happy because it's like, oh my God, like I love friends that cook for me. Until I found her TikTok page. If I find her TikTok page, and someone's gonna have to hold me back. I'm gonna find her and say, how can you do this? I think I would even stop being friends with her if I saw the way she prepared food. And we're gonna add our own little sprinkles here. Why do they say rainbow gym bits? What is a gym bit and who is gym? <laughs> that was so funny, Jane. Brain. No icing. Take our little spatula guy. Just mix that all together. Wait, I just realized the camera woman shouldn't even laugh at that. Wait. Jane. Jane! What did you do to that woman? What did you do to that woman? This girl has not spoken the entire video. My good sis, the camera woman, her jokes were a little bit better. I still remember her joke. It's like Tetris with circles. <laughs> and you know what? I regret not laughing when she said it. Now we're left with Jane. What are Jim bits? And who is Jim? Just stick to cook. No, don't even stick to that. <laughs> All right, it's ready. Let's see how it turned out. Take a look at that. Okay, let's okay. see if we can get this giant cookie out of here. Ooh, wait, why does it look good? Oh, this is gonna be so good. Our trip for the win. Fun funny. So smart. Come on, tell me that's not genius. Okay, M&Ms, don't let us down. Let's do a big slice here. Mm. Flip this out if you think it's gonna be a rainbow inside. Oh yeah, that's epic. Is, All right. Is it cooked? It looks wet internally. Are, am I the only one seeing this? Girl, it's not done. Like there was actually some potential here, but no, you just ruined it. Let's try a bite. See how it tastes. Ready? Done it again. Justice for the camera girl. One bottle of Coca-Cola straight into our Pringles. Call the police. <laughs> please. 911! Arrest this woman, Jane Brain on TikTok. Arrest this woman. Why? Why are you always doing things like this? Who hurt you? Were your parents? I don't know. I'm, I feel like and now I have no choice but to think of a life story for this woman. Like, were your parents not feeding you and you had to make up concoctions as a child? You know what I would pay good money for? To get a life documentary from Jane Brain. I want to know how you get to this point. <laughs> One packet of dry yeast, two cups of flour. This should be getting nice and thick now. You're probably wondering if this container can go in the oven. 
And the answer is, I don't know. Jane. Jane, 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 Jane. This is not how we should be moving. This is not how we should be living life. You know, I kind of want to be her friend. Just a little. <laughs> I feel like when it comes to me, I'm such a thinker. Like I'm always like trying to plan ahead. Very type A, but not really type A. And I feel like Jane would move me out of my comfort zone. Like we would just be doing stuff. And I feel like, you know, if we don't die, it'll be a great memory. Don't be shocked if I send you a DM, Jane. We're about to find out. So let's get this in here just like that. The heck is happening here? We're putting it in at 350 for about an hour. If it lights on fire, I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> That laughter felt forced. I'll let you know. <laughs> no, that wasn't real. I think something's going on behind the scenes, y'all. I would like for the camera woman to make a statement because I'm worried. Is she being forced to film these videos? Is she being forced to laugh and change jokes? Is she being forced to make small commentary? I guess we'll never know. Update, no fires were started, but this thing actually smells pretty good. So let's get it out of here and take a look. Show me. Oh my. Show me. No, y'all. She bent open the oven. You can see it. Jane probably whispered, say something. Go look. Show me. Oh my. Show me. Show me. I think that's what it was. Someone, I think someone else is behind the scenes and choked her and told her you want to say something. <laughs> so crazy i'm making a whole entire storyline from these videos but i have no choice but to jane brain is not easy to read and that's why you have to study these pieces of content so you can really get down to the nitty gritty you really do come on my goodness i'm literally so excited to slide this out of here oh oh yeah oh my goodness no way that's incredible. It's literally a bread roll. What is this supposed to be? And how did this become? She put Coke inside of a Pringles can. Please y'all, do not try this at home. Poppiness is both there. It's literally made out of Coca-Cola and Pringles. Start wrapping this around. Pepper and our salami right in between our Pringle bread. Take a ham and a pineapple and do the same thing. Everything's better with cheese, don't you think? Heck yeah. All you gotta do is boil this for about five minutes. Cheese is completely melty. Some French onion dip. Garnish that with some chives. You get to pick two pieces of bread and dip as you pull it up. That's awesome. Cheers. Mmm, that is amazing. Why does it look good? Like if I was there, I think I would. <laughs> if I was there, she said, Courtney, you want some? Yeah. <laughs> I can never understand if this is satire or if it's serious. She's confusing me. One moment I'm thinking, oh, this woman is joking. And then the next moment I'm looking at it like, oh, that look kind of good. You know what I'm saying? That look kind of good. Let me get a push. So I'm confused. Giant cabbage, chop off the top. You make a big opening, scoop out all of the insides. Let's set that aside. And we're going to add three pounds of ground beef to our bowl, salt, black pepper, and two eggs. Good thing I'm wearing gloves because we are going to mix this all together. Let's get our cabbage back and start filling it up with our meat mixture and just bring the meat all. See, you do things like this and then now it makes me think, nah, she can't be serious. She's joking. Right when I was thinking that you had potential to be normal. <laughs> oh my good God. All the way up the edges, slide our blocks of cheese into the cabbage. Now we're gonna move this to a glass dish. We are going to start putting ground beef all on the outside of our cabbage. I didn't think we were gonna waste all that ground beef, did you? I mean, I don't have any beef with this recipe yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know what? Maybe I want you mute again. You should be telling Jane, stop this nonsense. But instead you hear making jokes condoning the behavior. Mm -mm. Take one more piece of ground beef and there you have it. We have our big giant ball of meat. All right, before we bake in this, we're gonna bake in this. Wrap that from the top down. This is the biggest ball of bacon I've ever seen. <laughs> Stick it in the oven at 325 for two and a half hours. Are you ready? Oh my goodness. Did you forget how huge that was or was oh. that just me? <laughs> She's talking a lot in this video, y'all. She's talking a lot, but what are we looking at? Cut it open. I want to see what this is. Again, it's crispy. <gasps> oh wow. my goodness. So <laughs> cheesy. Ew! Wait, what are... Am I, did that disgust anyone else? This is the type of stuff that'll make me lose my appetite for like four years. They're so happy to see the nasty cheese fall out. <laughs> so cheesy. So cheesy. She need to go back on mute. You're not reacting the way I wanted you to react. The whole entire storyline I created about her, I take it back. And we can't forget about our dill sauce. Cheers. Mmm. 
That cabbage is perfectly steamed. That's how you make- Why did you cut the camera, girl? You didn't show us Sauce. eating it. Mmm. That cabbage is perfectly steamed. Why did you cut the cameras, Jane? Because you know you lying. You know you didn't like that. Just be honest with us. We'll like you more if you're honest. Like, I think watching someone cook something and then they taste it in the end, they're like, oh, what? I think that would be more entertaining. <laughs> Honestly, where did you learn to lie like this? It's like a little too good. Like, I can't even tell by your facial reactions that you actually don't like it. We're going to start by cutting open our bag of barbecue chips. And right over here, we're going to cut open our bag of sour cream and onion. Pour some barbecue sauce into our bag of barbecue chips. And in this bag, we're going to add a few scoops of French onion dip. Next, we're going to crack in one egg, just straight into the bag. And of course, we can't forget one into there. For this next part, we need some gloves. Let's take our chicken drumsticks. What are you doing? Way. What are you doing? What are you doing? Where are we going? Let me right speed this up. Here. And of course, into our sour cream and onion mixture. Okay. This is it. I think this sour cream and onion is gonna be amazing. Look at how crispy that crust is. And our chicken is perfectly cooked. Cheers. Mmm. Okay. That was better. I don't trust this woman. Why do you have an obsession with chips? She loves Lay's. Are you sponsored? They got all the flavors. Hey, I learned this recipe in Kentucky. Kentuckians, is what y'all doing? Somebody from Kentucky, please tell me if y'all are doing this because if y'all are, I'm worried. Part of me wants to try making one of these TikTok recipes and just see if it's good. But then also another part of me is like, girl, don't do that. But then another part of me is like, let me just try. <laughs> I just want to try. Let me know y'all, should I Should I do it? But anyways, if y'all are new to my channel, thank you so much for coming. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being a Reezy. Yeah. Reezy are the best people on the internet. If you want to become a Reezy, you have to hit the subscribe button to do what you have to do. It's real good over here. I'm just saying. Okay. Make sure to follow me on my Discord, my Twitter, my Instagram, basically all my social media, my TikTok. Follow me everywhere, girl. I'll see you guys on my next video. I love you and peace.